What is up guys, J-Rob here with Team Energy Golf Clash bringing you guys another awesome guide this week for Tour 6. Now I know a lot of you guys have struggled with Tour 6 and I have been requested to make a video so we did all of the work that we could this week to pull all the clips together and get all the information that we needed on the Southern Pines, City Park, and Juniper Point holes to make this video for you guys and give you all of the most updated information and ways to play these holes the same way that we do and the best ways that we think are fit to do so. So if you guys could like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, that would be so much help and it would really help our work pay off. So I appreciate all you guys that have helped us get up to 200 subscribers. It means so much. Now, Let's jump into the video, because I know that's why you guys are here. Let's get into it. All right, guys. Uh, so before we jump into all the holes here, um, I kind of just want to go over uh, some of the golf bags that you should potentially have if you have multiple golf bags unlocked, which is going to be a massive advantage for you. So, you know, having... You can see I have three golf bags up here, so it's, you're definitely going to be at an advantage. So I would use those golf bags to mix them up to your, your best fit. So use one class as like, you know, your long range class, then have one that's a mix of like a medium to long range, and then have one that's just like a medium range. But, um, basically you know a long range class being like having your big dog as your wood and your extra mile and your goliath a lot of your longer range clubs and then you would have a medium setup that's kind of you know you ha you might have a longer distance driver and then like the sniper as your wood and uh, the goliath you know or the backbone or the saturn y you know you can change it up depending on what suits your style but the sniper is what I go with here about 90% of the time in Tour 6. But there are a lot of longer holes. And some of the shorter holes that you might need more curl on drivers or clubs. So I would also recommend having it the rock or the quarterback at a higher level, you know, as one of your drivers. And, you know, maybe a big dog or the guardian as another wood with, you know, some higher distance clubs on that one. But you'll have to kind of pick apart your clubs and find what's suitable to best fit with each golf bag. Alright guys, we are here with our first hole on Southern Pines. So I just wanted to note too, um, these are just going to be my shots alone. Um, I didn't want to use uh, video of the opponent's shots for one, for privacy reasons, and two, I didn't want it to take up a whole lot of time. But um, as you can see on this first hole here, we're going to play this one to the left side, which it can be played to the right side. Um, this, the left side here, I would recommend about four to five bars of topspin. Um, you want to bounce it right off of that first fairway, down the second island fairway, down as far towards that front of that green as you can get it. I didn't get it too far down the green uh, for the video. It could have been, you know, a little bit better, but... Um, definitely uh sets us up for a nice chance at a albatross here on this next second shot but um the second shot here um pretty straightforward nice sniper shot we don't really need a whole lot of top spin or a whole lot of back spin um and i also do want to say uh, as far as uh, your wind adjustments goes i don't want to go too much in detail on the wind adjustments but you can get a very good idea of how i make my wind adjustments using that take shot button in the golf ball to line up my uh center target right in the middle of where that golf ball is on the take shot button so if you don't already you know that is a very good way to judge where um you want to put your your center target when you move your ball so uh, that's pretty much it for this first southern pines hole and it's pretty straightforward if you play it from the right side i've also had some very good luck and i would use full top spin on that side and you'll also have about the same second shot okay guys moving on to the next southern pines hole here um, you can play this one to the right side but it is pretty risky so usually i play this one to the left side to keep it safe um, i would recommend playing this one with um, 
you know, a, a long iron that has enough backspin, um, or the Guardian, but as you can see here, um, I'm going to use about six bars of top spin, and we don't want to use too much more than that because we want to bounce it right about there over that bunker and get it as far down this fairway as we can without going into that rough. Um, sometimes you do have to overpower your drive, but um, right there will set us up for a nice second shot here uh, straight towards the green. And you can see what I mean here. Uh, we're flirting with the bunker a little bit in the rough, so... Um, we're either going to want to lay it up on the green with as much backspin as we can or play off of the rough bump here like I am. And I would suggest using only about two bars of topspin because if you get more than that, you will hit the rough and roll all the way across the green and into the rough on the other side. So, you know, hit your uh, perfect shot here. As you can see, I hit great, and it ended up into the rough a little bit more on the left-hand side and didn't push the ball further enough. Um, if you do the opposite of that and end up too far on the right-hand side, you will blow the ball past onto the green um, over into the bunker. So a uh, pretty simple hole here, but can get you a little messed up. Uh, so good luck out there, guys, on this one. All right, guys, uh, we're going to be trying to get a lot of content in here in a short amount of time because I don't want the video to be too crazy long. But um, this hole here, uh, we're going to play this, you know, basically full top spin, maybe a little bit of curl. Uh, I kind of actually buffed this shot a little bit and hit a great left. And uh, luckily, there's a big enough fairway that it has some forgiveness. But we want to just get it down as towards, you know, that the end of that fairway as, as we can to set ourselves up for this nice second sniper shot or uh, Goliath, you know, your long iron. And there's not a whole lot of elevation on this shot. Uh, nothing really we have to account for other than uh, watching that rough on the right hand side and adjusting for our wind here. So as you can see. We make our wind adjustment here, and we're going to take a nice shot right at the pin, and this one's going to come in real nice. This shot can be a little tricky, like I said, with the rough on the right-hand side, but we come in here, and we get a nice bounce with that right side spin, straight almost at the pin, real close, but we didn't sink it. Now, that's going to have to be a shot that, you know, you're going to really want to dial in, if you, you know, you want to get it one up on your opponent here on this hole. All right, now moving on to this hole here. Um, basically, we just want to play this one with a little bit of left side spin and no more than a bar top spin. We just want to get this one down onto that platform but not roll into the rough because if we roll into the rough or the bunker down there, then we're going to, you know, have a little bit of trouble getting to the green. Uh, I wouldn't really worry about it too, too much because, it, you know, if you had like the sand lizard, something with a lot of top spin or, you know, as you can see here, setting up our second shot, um, you can get down that fairway. But as you can see, it's got, it's kind of, weebly wobbly you know it's got like hills that go each each way so if you bounce in the wrong spot and say you have to overpower your uh bunker shot or your rough shot you could end up in the rough again or in the bunker because you hit one of those holes in your or those hills and your ball bounced completely not where you thought it was going to go so uh as you can see here um we should have put a lot more curl on this shot because there is a real nice funnel in this. And I have since dialed in the curl for this shot. And once you do, it is very nice. I would definitely recommend, uh, you know, testing. And it's almost about two, two balls worth of curl. Like, that's the best way I could judge it. Um, but I really hope you guys dial that in and good luck. Now, this hole here... Um, Basically, we just want to 
get past those trees. You can hit it straight. You don't have to curl it. The reason I curled it is because I used a little bit of side spin and I, I knew I could get past the trees with some top spin. But if you just shoot it straight and make your wind adjustment, as long as you get down there past those trees, you should be set up nice here for either a wedge shot or a nice short iron to the pin. And this is gonna definitely be a shot here that we're gonna wanna make. Um, I do have some clips coming up that I'm going to show you after this, um, basically showing you all of the shots that I feel like you're really going to have to make and dial in to win in Tour 6. So as you can see, we come up a little bit short. My ball guide was a little bit off there. I felt like it was lying to me, but... Uh, <laughs> That's definitely going to be a shot we're going to have to make there. Um, this hole, we can play it one of two different ways. You can either overpower it and hit it up on the fairway right around where that little question mark is in front of uh, where uh, the rough is there. Or you can play it with a little bit of left curl and some top spin and some left side spin like I am here. And we'll pull back, put a little bit of our curl on. And as you can see, I actually got pretty lucky here i hit it great right but because i had just a little bit enough curl on there and my left side spin it came up just to the left so it did not roll into the bunker that's going to be our biggest threat here is that bunker because if you roll into the bunker there or clip the rough you you know you won't be able to uh get your distance that you need to get all the way to the flag so we have a nice shot here coming up uh i actually I put this shot in here. This actually isn't from the same uh, game, but I wanted to get a nice dialed in shot here for you guys so you can see what it looks like to make this shot. Um, this shot is a pretty nice one because it does have a nice funnel, but uh, make your wind adjustment, maybe a couple bars right side spin and some back spin. If you're using a sniper, you know, just make sure that you get right up close to where you think it's going to bounce and come in straight at the pin and roll in nice and we get the eagle par four so here's another par four and uh we're gonna play this one here with no more no more than two bars top spin i would recommend playing it with just under one because uh as you can see here i played this with uh one bar or no, two bars, two bars here. We played this one with two bars. I usually play it with one, but as you can see, my ball guide is kind of uh, extending out there, and I made my wind adjustment, but where my ball hit on this one was a little bit tricky, and that um, this can happen to you as well, no matter how much top spin you really put on it, depending on where you hit. But I, I hit going kind of straight, and it, it just rode that hill and put so much uh, power behind it. I, I don't know why that does that sometimes, but um, it, it just, it obviously has to do with the landscape of uh, the course. So um, this shot is our second shot setting us up here. Um, this was actually a, a tournament shot from the last uh, Labor Day, uh, or not Labor Day, Liberty tournament here that we had. Uh, actually that I, I took two golds in on both of my accounts, so which was fairly awesome considering I had an absolutely terrible day that day. To get two golds was awesome. And to make a shot like that, eagle, heck yeah. These are the ones you're going to have to dial in here. Now this hole here, we could play this one to the left and make sure we get it down that left little fairway as much as we can and is what I did here because I had such a, a tough wind that was like angled back at me to the right here. So um, usually I would actually play this with right side spin and top spin about six bars, six, four to six bars, you know, will do it. Um, but I would play it to the right and bounce to the right and clip that, uh, basically bounce right over that uh, hill there and clip the rough kind of like we do here just so it rolls down into that fairway and it'll set us up for a really nice second shot here at a nice chance for an albatross so um this uh this is our second shot here um 
I was actually a little bit further back than I wanted to be because I had to play it with that, uh, such a tough wind angle there. So um, I would actually recommend maybe playing this hole with a big dog or you know a, a lot higher powered, uh, longer distance um, wood club. But as you can see here, it still is doable with a sniper. Um, I was able to bounce right there close and get this up onto the fringe there. Uh, I was actually surprised that it didn't roll farther than that because it looked like it was coming in so hot. But um, we take a nice little wedge shot here straight towards the pin. And she ends up in there for an eagle. Pretty straightforward hole, but it can be a little bit tricky. Moving on to this hole here. Um, we can either play this one like I am now, uh, depending on your wind that you have. This one was also in the tournament, um, which they gave us a little bit of a teased wind. Uh, it is, you know, it, it's an angled headwind, so it kind of messes with you a little bit. But most people play this one with, you know, two bars backspin, you know, and basically lay it up on that first fairway and you know, use the big dog or the sniper, uh, just basically set yourself up to, oh, excuse me, to where you can, um, if you don't get all the way over onto this fairway, that you can make your second shot, uh, a nice one to where you can get yourself right up by that bunker down towards the right side of that bunker. And you'll set yourself up for a really nice, uh, third shot there at a chance for an eagle but as you can see here i would recommend if you do play this hole this way that you would play it with a big dog or the cataclysm um something you know even the guardian would really work because it would put you about there where i'm at with overpower on the sniper um especially with a power five ball which i'm using but um as you can see here because i had to overpower my shot with a sniper and put a little bit more topspin on it than i wanted this one actually blew a little bit over the green and rolled into the rough here so uh, i had to take an, a nirvana rough rough iron shot here and uh, this one can be a tricky one too if you're on the back half and you don't have enough backspin on your rough iron because it is a very heavy down slope to the flag um make sure that you have enough backspin here and you you know really make sure you hit that perfect shot to get in there because if you know you don't want to play it you know all the way over and have that big advantage on your opponent and not be able to make that third shot but if you do play it the other way um we're going to start getting into some of uh the other shots that you're going to have to make here to win and I definitely think this is one of them. I play this one here with about a bar, maybe two bars of backspin and uh, some a couple bars left side spin and make sure it's going straight at the pin. Um, we'll make our wind adjustment here because uh, we want our ball to still roll up that little slope um, because it, it will roll, but because it is going up, um, it may not roll you know, far, as far as we think. So uh, putting one bar of backspin on it is probably pretty ideal. Um, this hole here, uh, we have um, a kingmaker ball here. We're going to play this one with full right side spin. Uh, you can play this one with a little bit more curl. Uh, I did mention the kingmaker because we have so much right side spin on this. Um, basically you want to put a little bit of curl or more curl to make up for the lack of backspin on your ball or side spin on your ball um depending on what you're using but you basically want your ball to come in with uh you know a nice little roll about three bars top spin max and uh you'll set yourself up for a really nice second shot here at a good chance at getting an eagle now this shot is a very very nice shot I have another way to play this hole with a full backspin as well. If you guys play it that way, uh, I have dialed it in both ways. So uh, this way, I usually just play it with two bars uh, backspin, basically straight at the pin. Just find yourself, um, 
you know, and this really goes for any shot, you know, find yourself a really good landing spot, you know, like where your ball's going to land, make sure that, you know, you're not teetering on like a little hill or, you know, your ball guides teetering one way or the other. Um, cause as you can see, I hit a really solid landing spot here and it came in perfect right at the flag for a nice Eagle. So, uh, this is going to actually be the last hole here that we're going to go over as far as, um, the actual holes, um, showing all of the shots of the holes itself. But, uh, off of this drive, you, you basically have to play this one down that right panhandle if you even want a chance at an albatross or an eagle, uh, because, um, if you don't, you'll end up having to make that third shot, uh, from outside the green, uh, for your eagle. So, you know, that's not always a give me shot. So if you make your, your first drive there with, you know, max right side spin, and I'd say three bars top spin at max, this will set you up for your second shot here. Now I would put about four, four bars, three to four bars of back spin here. Maybe, you know, a bar of right side spin, left side spin, however you feel to pick your landing spot. And just make, make sure it's straight at the pin. And look how um, angled my wind is here. Uh, I want to just mention that my opponent here on this shot, um, he just pulled his, his straight back to adjust his wind. And the wind okay, actually guys, just we're going to move angle that it wasn't straight back. Threes now so that's why I was able to get mine straight at the pin. Um, I'm going to get as I many of them my wind here as I can. The way it was going. Uh, I know that this video is getting kind of long, so I'm trying to, you know, smash in as much content as I possibly can on how I play all of these Tour 6 shootout holes, the way I play all of the holes itself and uh, the best ways to win in Tour 6. So I really hope that you guys enjoy some of these par 3s, and I'm going to try to walk through and explain to you guys on how and why I play each hole. So this one I play um, with basically just as much backspin as I have, and there's a square right there, that square right at the top where the ball just broke. I play it to where two bars of left side spin where it will break right down towards the hole right at that square so this hole here um i play this one right off the right hand uh, little corner there on the bunker with a little bit of left side spin and about just about one bar of full top spin just shy of the pin because the green will roll and push the ball towards the pin further than you think especially with a tailwind because you know the wind is blowing straight at the hole so it's going to give it just that little bit more power to you know get bounce and get to the hole so we hit there come in pretty nice and smack it in for a hole in one all right, so this hole here is a little bit different. Um, you can actually play this one off of that little island in the middle with uh, about full backspin with the extra mile, or you can play it how I am with the sniper and a little bit of overpower. Um, this one has a tailwind, so it's blowing away from me, which I use that a little bit to my advantage. That's why I use the sniper, because it had more cur curl than what my extra mile seven did. Um, but uh, you basically want to get this one curled around there so it will bounce and come in just kind of as that ball did and loop and funnel itself right down in towards that uh, hole. Or you can play it from the left-hand side and curl it right and bounce it off that left-hand fairway curled right towards the pin. Moving on to this next par 3 here, you can either play this one with a lot of backspin uh, right at the green, or you can play it off the island right here to the right, as you can see I am. Uh, just a couple bars of backs, uh, backspin and maybe a couple bars of left side spin, whatever you feel is comfortable. Just get it to where your ball guide is uh, just short of the pin where you think it's going to roll, you know, up nice to the pin uh, with just a couple bars of backspin. Make your wind adjustment and you should come in just fine if you hit your perfect shot. So 
as you can see we actually hit great here but we had made our wind adjustment just a little bit off so it came in perfect for a hole in one okay this hole here is a little bit tricky um you can play the bounce over shot where you bounce over the bunker like I'm going to do here. I would recommend playing that with just a slight over a one bar of backspin and full left side spin. And um, make your perfect wind adjustment. Make sure that your ball guide is set up just how mine is there with it bouncing on the fringe your first bounce has to hit on that fringe or it will not slow down enough to you know actually get right near the hole it will go past the hole and go down that little slope and you won't be happy um or you can play this one to lay it right up on the green with about full backspin and maybe a little bit of left side spin. I actually play it with right side spin, so it will hug the right hand side and it will use the hill to roll down a little bit more uh, easily. But moving on to this hole here, uh, as you know, we're trying to get a lot of content in a short amount of time because the video is uh, getting long here. Um, this one I play with about two, almost two bars of top spin, just shy, straight at the pin, um, you almost don't even have to move your ball guide right off the bat on this hole. If you do, I would move it back, if anything, because you can get in trouble here and either blow it way past the hole or a lot of times you see with not enough top spin, you will bounce right off of this spot here and you will come up and the camera angle will start to go right back down and you will fall right back into the hole. Uh, or not into the hole, but you'll fall right back down the hill. I mean, but as you can see, that ball fell right in the hole. Um, this hole here, you can either play it uh, off of the little zigzag fairway with about a bar of top spin and some right side spin straight at the pin and make your wind adjustment, and it should, should be fairly close, right behind that little nook, right where behind my ball is. Or you can play this one with about four four and a half five bars of backspin and a couple bars of right side spin straight at the hole just like i did there my wind adjustment was a little bit off but you can also get it in the hole like that so good luck on this one it's kind of a tough one this one here pretty straightforward hole um, i play this one with about four and a half bars of backspin and uh, two bars right side spin and I put it right on the fringe there because we want a nice high bounce because you can see that high arc. Uh, that high bounce helps slow the ball down. Um, as you can see, we're going to make our wind adjustment here to the red ring and uh, pull back our shot. This one we want to bounce right off of the middle of that little knoll, that little hill right in the center of the green there. So hit about right there, straight at the pin and it should roll in nice. Mine did a little couple loop-de-loops there, but hey, it looks pretty. <laughs> now, okay, we're gonna be moving on here to some of the shots that I really feel like you are going to have to make and dial in to be able to compete and really win within Tour 6. So this shot here, um, you can actually play this just straight at the pin as well. Uh, with a couple bars of backspin, I'd say about two bars of backspin. I've made that shot a ton of times straight at the pin. Uh, this one, I just wanted to try to do a little something different here with full backspin to see if it would go in as well. And um, it actually went in fairly nice. So uh, just make sure you have full backspin on your thorn if you take this approach. Maybe a bar or two with right side spin. Um, lay it up onto the hole. And it pushes back real nice, straight at the pin with a little loop-de-loop -loop around. Now this hole here, um, there's a fairway down to the right-hand side where you can play or, um, w which is what I did off of this drive, I played it to the right-hand side with a lot of curl to the left and got it down onto that, tried to get it to the fairway, but it ended up in the rough. So I had to take a rough iron shot here. Um, Usually your shot would come, you know, you would chip either onto the green here like I am, 
but um, if you make it onto that fairway, you're gonna have to make a similar shot just like that, either with your Thorn or your Goliath. So good luck. Moving on to this hole here, um, this is the hole uh, that you play to the left where you bounce off of the two different little island fairways to get towards the green, or you can play it safe to the right-hand side. Um, I do believe this is a juniper point hole, um, but you are going to have to either dial in getting that perfect drive right onto the green or dialing in this rough or bunker shot because you will have to dial in that second shot to get your eagle to make sure that you win that hole or take it to a shootout. Now this hole here, this is a par five, which this is basically a hole where you are going to have to make your third shot to be able to land the eagle. So this is almost an absolute must shot that you have to make if you want to win or go to the shootout. So um, just a couple bars of backspin here, make your wind adjustment straight at the pin, and you should roll in fairly nice. Um, now if you guys that are having any trouble at all with your wind adjustments or you know stuff like that as far as wind, um, I will be linking a guide in the description below to our wind tutorial guide it has been a great help to a lot of people and i've gotten a lot of good feedback on it so if you want to check that out it'd definitely be a a good interest um this hole here is another one just like the last one um you'll basically have to make your third shot here to land the eagle in order to win um it's a little bit of a tricky shot, and depending where you're at, you know, you're going to be in different locations, so you're, you'll have to figure out, you know, which really uh, suits you the best, which side, whether it's the right side or the left side. I usually play this one safe to the left side, unless my opponent uses a very high-powered ball to where, you know, he plays it right down the center, and... I have to, you know, kind of compete with that and maybe use a higher powered ball. Um, this hole here, uh, you basically off the drive, it's the one where the trees are, you know, you can either shoot it right through the trees or you curl it to the right around the trees uh, straight ahead. And this is the second shot here straight at the pin. You'll either be using a long iron or a short iron here. And um, basically you know, straight at the pin, there is a little bit of elevation, so you will have to account for that, uh, just a couple bars of backspin, because this is a, a plateaued green a little bit, and it does have a high arc bounce with the elevation that you account for, so you actually don't need as much backspin as you think you need, but as you can see, this one rolls in real nice for an eagle. Now moving on to the second hole here, um, this is the second shot. Uh, we play this one either to the left with the island. This is one of the holes that we went over earlier um, where we went over the sniper shot at the other angle. This is when you play it to the right side if you use full top spin and bounce over to the right uh, down the longer stretch of fairway, maybe a little bit of curl. But um, we play this one with a couple bars backspin, you know, pretty much straight at the pin with a couple bars of right side spin if you don't really want to flirt with uh, that rough or the bunker. But we come in nice for a really sweet albatross. Now, this hole here is also one of the ones that we went over earlier. But um, the shot that I had, uh, had on there displayed... Uh, I should have put a little bit more curl on the shot, but um, this one, if you get the curl dialed in just about right where you need it, this is a really nice hole to, you know, dial in that a lot of people struggle with. Um, I would use full ba backspin and full bars right side spin and just judge your ball guide to where you really think it's going to go because your ball will funnel. See, my ball almost looked like it was going to go away from the hole and it funneled right down towards it so that was a pretty nice albatross there now this this is uh just a, a nice chip um if you get your driver down that left hand fairway 
um, with some right curl and you get your ball further enough up on this hole, you'll either have a short iron or a wedge to the pin, and that's definitely going to be a shot that you're going to have to make. And the same goes with this, this hole. On these par fours, our second shot is usually our very ideal shot that we have to make. So we're going to want to really dial these in. Um, this one I played to the right-hand side with uh, quite a bit of uh, top spin to get myself as far down towards the green as I could to set myself up for this shot. So uh, just a couple bars backspin, straight at the pin like usual, and make our wind adjustment. And as you can see, we're going to come in here pretty nice and land a nice eagle. Perfect shot. Eagle. Moving on to this hole here. Uh, this is the other shot um, from that razor shot with the albatross that I just showed you a little while ago. Um, this is if, you know, say you got onto the fairway off of your drive or maybe you hit it in the rough and you had to, you know, chip onto that fairway here uh, before that bunker and before the green and you're making your second shot uh, or your third shot here. Um, this is basically going to be a shot that you're going to have to make if your opponent has played it uh, from the other side and or played it the same way that you did and is just as close as you are. But as you can see, we come in here nice for an eagle. Well, all right, guys, that is going to conclude our Tour 6 Tips and Tricks Guide. Uh, I hope we were able to get enough information in here uh, between all of the shots and walking you through the holes and some of the par 3s. I just really hope you guys have a better understanding of how to play Tour 6. And as I mentioned uh, earlier in the description below, we're also going to have the link to our win tutorial adjustment guide. Um, so if you guys need help with that, uh, we'll be down in the description to help you. And thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you so much for the 200 subscribers. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you watch the video for this long, thank you so much for being here. Take care, guys.